Hey, these are apple blossoms and these are not my trees. My trees are only going on three years, so they are not producing fruit yet, so they are not getting the flowers. But we did find a new recipe this year that calls for, it's an apple blossom jelly recipe, so clearly I need apple blossom. So I came to my friend's house, whose tree is very much so loaded, and they've got uh, like six trees like this. So I'm going to pilfer a few and not worry about decreasing their fruit production. But when you're going to make your apple blossom jelly, you have to get good, open, pretty, open flowers here like this. And you just take the flower off. You just want the petals, and it takes two cups of petals. It's easier to do when you can hold on to it with both hands. <laughs> yeah, no, whatever. Anyhow, and then you put them in your bag, your tote, your basket, whatever. It takes two cups to make one batch. So with that, I am collecting apple blossoms from the tree. I know, aren't they pretty? They're beautiful. Anyhow, with this, I'm just gonna pluck off these flowers here. Like I got a little leaf, you don't want the leaf. Discard that and just put my flowers in here. And I'm just gonna collect enough to do a couple batches. I've shared the wealth between all the trees so I didn't like strip one tree. But that is all it takes to collecting apple blossoms for the jelly. I've got two cups of boiling water to put over top the apple blossoms. About two cups of water that I will boil. And as soon as it's boiled, we'll dump it over top and let the blossoms steep and make like an apple tea. Okay, so the water's boiling. I will dump it directly into the flower blossoms. Okay. Let's see if I cannot spill it all over myself. There we go. And then with that, <clears throat> put the lid on once it cools, it'll go in the fridge and then it will steep overnight. And that will be how I make the tea for the jelly. Oh. Okay, that was hot. <laughs> Here we go. Now it will cool off and then I'll put it in the fridge and then tomorrow we will strain it after it's set overnight. This is the apple blossom jelly or tea. I steeped it for um, overnight and it's, you saw how pale it was last night. Well, today it's more of an amber red color. So we're going to strain this. All right, so let's strain these out here. Oh, that is a deep. It's like October's birthday. Yeah, it looks like apple juice. Actually, that is what it looks like. Ooh. But yeah, look at that color. Natural coloring by the the flowers of the petals. <laughs> The color of the petals. <laughs> There's the grody pebble petals in there. Pebbles. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. So with the apple blossom jelly, you need two cups of so apple blossom you, tea. Oh look at that. That was perfect. Perfect. Apple blossom tea. It's two cups, and we got to bring it and the four tablespoons of lemon juice and the box of pectin oh. to oh. the boil. It's coming right out of me. Okay, four tablespoons or a quarter cup of lemon juice into this apple blossom. Oh, look at the color change. Huh. It always amazes me. It's like, I don't know, every time it amazes me. Look at it. Oh, Would you look at change? that? Yeah. That's pretty. I know. Yeah. It looks green. Well, like ski. Like ski pops. Like ski. <laughs> if y'all don't know ski pops from our area, get a different spoon, um, some people love it. Some people watch that. Oh, yeah. It's like a citrus drink almost. Semi related to Mountain Dew. And then one packet of pectin. And then we will stir and bring it to a boil for at least one minute before we do um, the sugar. Over there. 
Okay, and now with it boiling for us one to two minutes, we put the sugar in, bring it back to a full rolling boil, and then it is done. Look at that pretty color. Ha! Huh. It does look like apple juice. And again, hot, hot, hot deli to hot jars to hot canner. So, ooh, that is thick. Mm -hmm. mm, it's, I'm curious about this one. This is our first it's, batch ever, like I said um, yesterday when I gathered the blossoms. We're going to learn this one to get. All right. This is going to be a thick and tasty. I really like the color, though. It is pretty. Got about a minute left, and then we're going to put it into the jars. That's all you got left. Okay, so get the jars out of the oven, like we showed, and put them over here on the towel and get them filling. Okay, taste testing. I'm not going to record Crystal because she doesn't want to be on there, but tell me what you think. It's good. Apple oh. juice? Does it's it taste like, like apple, apple juice? Apple juice, it's good. Yeah, it's like apple juice, apple saucy. But look how pretty. Look at Jesse working. Cleaning them rims. Clean them, clean them good. <laughs> okay, so then we put the flat on it, which is your regular size band. After she wipes them clean with a wet cloth. You don't have to be wet, but with a sticky item, I get a wet cloth. And jelly is sticky. And then finger tight just right on that. And then this is only a five minute water bath boil. I don't know if it's because it's, I don't know who made that rule up, but this is a five minute water bath boil according to the recipe that I have. And then get a hold of your jar with your picker upper because it's going to be hot. Hot jelly, hot jars, hot canner. And then I'm just setting it right down in the water there. And then when I get it all loaded up, put the lid on it. And once it's still boiling, it'll be a five minute time. Okay, water is over top of the jars. It's boiling, so it's five minutes now. Put the lid back on and hurry up and wait. Okay, so these are done, and so she's removing them out. Okay, so with this, you just gotta leave some space in between the jars, and that allows for even airflow through them so that they all cool down, and we will get a seal. But look how beautiful all of these jellies we've been making. Beautiful colors and delicious taste.